the emotional SWOT is going to answer our question. The emotional SWOT is there to help us understand how our customer feels about us and how they feel about the industry. So for example, if you're Apple and you're selling computers, the SWOT's gonna tell us how our customers feel about Apple itself, but also how they feel about the computer industry. All of this is from the emotional side. So instead of analyzing the features and the pricing of your competitors and yourself, with the emotional swap, we're going to be talking about ourselves and the industry. As an example, I've chosen eHarmony. eHarmony is another very well-known dating site that we can use for our emotional swap. Now, because they are very well-known, I'd say that their strength is trust. Everyone knows them, so you can trust and know that they're gonna help you and do everything that you need. On the other hand, a quick look is gonna show us that their biggest weakness is that they're just like everyone else. They have nothing that stands out. In addition, if you look at their mobile landing page, there's nothing here emotional. It's all about join free today. Why should I do that? What is the emotional value of joining eHarmony? So that would definitely be their weakness. Now, if we look at the entire industry, one thing that we know for sure is that there's a huge variety and that's a great opportunity. There are so many dating sites out there. But on the other hand, there are quite a lot of threats. The first one is that finding a date is very hard work. And the second one is that everyone seems to be the same. There's nothing different that's going to stand out. And the third one, which is very consistent, is the fact that a lot of people feel that online dating isn't for them. They are special, they're different, and they deserve something better. When it comes to doing an emotional SWOT, or any SWOT, as a matter of fact, you are taking some educated guesses, trying to guess what are the answers. But you don't only have to guess, you can also use polls and surveys on your website to figure these things out. So have a mix of interviewing your customers, asking people within your office about the weaknesses and the threats and the opportunities and basically the strengths that they see.